So here is the uh, Star Wars Micro Machines uh, Rebel Transport Ship. So we'll talk through uh, the features to this one, the figures that come with it, uh, and then go from there. So this comes with three figures. You get three just uh, Rebel officers. Um, so one that's holding a bag here, like he's walking. You get another one that looks like he's looking at some type of uh, data pad. And then you get another one who has uh, black hair. Um, so it looks like he's holding his hand out. And then you do get one ship that comes with this, just a standard um, X-Wing. That's it. So looking through the outside, uh, pretty great detail here on the outside of this. I love the paneling of this and kind of the depth of the paneling as well on this, uh, as well as you got your cab there. Uh, this is kind of what it looks like from the back with the engines. And then here is the underside. The underside again has a ton of detail on it, which is nice. Um, these legs here are uh, stationary, so they can't move. Um, it would be nice to be able to have these things where you could like, push them up inside the ships so and then you can make it really look like it's uh, flying some. But either way, it still doesn't take a whole lot away from this. So that's the outside. To open this, the whole top of this just pops right off like that. So you can see the underside doesn't really have much detail to it. It's just kind of like a checker pattern in there. Um, that's it. And then now walking through this, so you've got uh, just your engines here on the bottom. You have these uh, four little pieces. So these are just boxes that come off. Um, you can see on here that the uh, stickers are already coming off. So this was actually purchased new. And um, see if I can get one of these guys off of here. There you go. And so you can see that the, obviously the tackiness of the sticker doesn't really stay on there very good. So I have to glue those things down. But that's basically what it looks like, a little peg hole on there to be able to fit right in there. So you do get those uh, couple stickers. You do get some other stickers on here as well that do need to be applied. Um, they're all relatively small stickers. So I believe these guys here, this one here, um, kind of all around this whole control panel. Um, and then you do have uh, two other moving parts. So you have this uh, little satellite dish that spins around um, and it moves up and down like that. And then you do have a, a gun here as well. And this moves too. And then you have um, a little small ramp that comes out also. There is a small little uh, space on this where you can open it and you can see inside. So I'm not really sure what this was designed for. Um, it's not quite big enough to be able to fit any of the figures in it. So I don't know whether or not that was there was going to be something else that went in there and it just never made it all the way to production, but that is that. And then the last part of this is that this portion here does pop down so that way your X-Wing could essentially fly out. Overall, I think this is a, a pretty cool ship. I mean, it's awesome when it's put together. Really like being able to see it um, with the top on it. Again, like it is flying. Everything does store inside really nicely, just like it does with all of the um, play sets like this. And there you go, it's back together. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks.